So, whoops, remember this guy? Uh, what is it? Linear equations. They're two linear equations, and together they make a system. A system. So it's a system of linear equations. How can we solve this system of linear equations? Substitution or elimination. Substitution or elimination. Graphing. No. Graphing. That's pretty much what we've learned so far, right? Yeah. That's great. Both those are great answers. Um, I don't want to take too much time, so we won't actually do this. Um, but I think that looking at your homeworks and seeing you guys in class, we're feeling comfortable with this overall, right? Mm -hmm. And again, my, my door is always open, so if you guys want to get that extra help, just come on over. Um, so today, we're, we're bumping it up a notch. We're going one more step. Any predictions on what that's going to be? What one more step would be? Scary. Scary. What's that? Well, that's, that's what we did yesterday, right? Systems of inequality. One more variable. Uh, uh, do we go over what these are? Yeah. yeah. What are they? They're in the, the plane that they're on. Yeah, they're planes, right? When we add that Z, we add that third dimension. So what we're actually doing is we're making planes, right? If you take a line and then you stretch it out, you get a plane. You get a three-dimensional plane. So we have to solve this. <clears throat> Guys think we can do it? No. I think we can, yeah, but easy. with assistance from you. Sub I would gladly help that with that assistance. Cool. Yes, we're going to use substitution. And here's the thing. We're going to use substitution. What's the whole point of using substitution? Isolate the variable easier. To isolate the variable and then do what? Solve for it. Right, plug it back in. So if I use substitution here, say I solve for y in the bottom equation, and I plug it back into the first, what happened with the y's? They become x's, so the y's would disappear. They go away. Then it becomes a one variable equation, something that we can solve. Here, I'm just going to have two variables. What's going to happen then? Yeah, I'm just. Really, with that third variable, it's, I don't want you guys to think it's anything just like totally new. It's the same process, except we're going to break it down so that we start with three variables. We eliminate one, so now we're down to two variables. And then we start with the process that we did before. We eliminate the two, from two variables to one, and then we work our way back up. Yeah. You can only use substitution for this? No, 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 no. We can use substitution elimination. We can use a lot of methods. Um, but I want to use substitution okay. first for us. All right, so substitute. So let's solve something. So what do you want to solve for? Z. Z. Why? Which Z? The second Z. The second Z. What else can we solve for? First y. y. The first Y. How about any of the X's? The X's. The X's, okay. I'm choosing, because I'm driving. I'm going to solve for this first y. Solving for the, you guys all chose the variables with the coefficient of 1, and that's the easiest way, the best way to do it, right on. Um, my hesitancy about the blue is because you guys would get a fraction, and I know some of you guys love fractions so much they make you nervous and you can't operate. So we'll just avoid the fractions for right now. Um, but if we, with the green, we can solve for the y. So I get y is equal to negative 2x plus z plus 5. Yeah. So I have to subtract my 2x from both sides yep. and add z. Okay. 
So what do I do with that? Plug it in. Plug it in where? The blue. What about the red? Or the red, brown. Thing. It's like a, it's like a burgundy. So you can plug it in. So in here we get 3x minus 2 times negative 2x plus z plus 5. Plus z equals 16. Make it even redder. Now I get 4x minus 3 times negative 2x plus z plus 5 minus 5z equals 3. Tell you what, I can scroll this down so that way we can combine our like terms now. Gives ourselves some space. So if I combine my like terms and simplify that blue equation, I'll get 3x plus 4x, what else? Minus 2z. Minus 2z. Minus, minus 10. Minus 10. Plus z equals 16. Plus z equals 16. So then I'm going to have, combine the like terms. 7x. 7x. Mm -hmm. Minus z. Minus. Equals. Equals 6. 26. Oh. 26. Oh, so close. Yeah. Well, we can do it. Red. 4x. 4x plus 6x. Oh, we already plus 6x. Watch out for those negatives. They're killing us. Minus? 3z. Minus 3z. Minus? Minus 15. Minus 5z equals 3. Let's combine those like terms. Mm. 10x. 10x. Minus 8z. Minus 8z equals. 23. Oh, 18. oh no, sorry, 18. Equals 18. So we're going to write the blue right underneath that so we can kind of see. Okay. Right. So now the bottom of that page right now. Right now we have a red and we have a blue. Looks just like we did before. Mr. Ko, isn't it plus three? Oh, did I make a mistake? Uh, I did. I did. You're right. And this, see, I did this on purpose to show you guys that it's okay to make mistakes in math class. No, I'm sorry. That's completely my fault. All right. So right here, all I did was this this three. That should be a plus three. So it doesn't really change anything computationally, just the positive 6 becomes a negative 6. That negative 3 becomes a positive 3. And that negative 15 becomes a positive 15. So now when I combine my like terms, I'm going to get negative 2x minus, two. minus 2z equals negative I think you guys were on to me when you. Some people have it. Thanks for catching that. Do I, are there any other mistakes that we're missing here? Okay. So it just lo looks like we did before, right? So all that happened was we spent a couple of minutes here, like five minutes, going through this and getting back to where we were. So now what would we do? How would we solve this? Multiply one side by like two and the other one by seven. You can't those two variables. Well, yeah. so we're going to go back to our substitution elimination method. So Ashcon, you're saying you want to use uh, elimination? Elimination, yeah. OK. So you can just multiply like the first side by seven and the other side by two. Or you or you multiply the bottom one by two. Yeah. Well, mm. pause. And then cancel out the z's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we could look at those x's. We could eliminate the x's. We could look at those z's. We could eliminate the z's. We could substitute, right? That z with a coefficient of negative one looks very inviting. 
infinite possibilities, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, for you know time purposes, I can only choose one to display in class. Mm -hmm. You guys, if you want to go ahead and do your own, go for it, all right? Right now, I think what we'll do is we will... Multiply that. Yeah, well, we'll go with uh, elimination, right? And we'll go with elimination because it displays that once you get to this point, like, you can do another method. You can stick with substitution all the way through. We can go to elimination method now. It's all good. So Negative why, two, why right? Negative two. Negative two. What's that? Negative What's that? So, so the reason we're not using the green equation is because that's the one that we substitute into. Right. So it's it's kind of like. So in every problem, do we just not include the, like, or like, do we not? We'll be going back to it. We'll be using it later, but it's almost like. Um, I can't think of any good examples, but like we're breaking it up and now it's a part of us. So these these equations here, they're not like they were before. They're different equations because now we basically broke up the green and put a little bit into the blue and a little bit into the red. So all these equations are, I mean, they're like the same. We haven't changed any values, but they're different. So then in a problem, like in a different problem, how would we know which one to like not to use as the one that we substitute. Whichever, whichever one you want, right? Okay. So we, we could have solved for the blue there. But that and then, would be simpler. Yeah, we, we solved for that because then we would get fractions. I know you guys you know, fractions. It, but if we solve for the blue, the, like the blue Z, we plug it into the green and to the burgundy, the red, and then we wouldn't include the blue anymore. Okay. Right? But you'll see. We'll, we'll get there. We'll actually go back and, and plug these back in. It's kind of like a ladder system. So like I'm painting a wall on top of a ladder. We have to go climb all the way down, pick up the paint, and then climb all the way back up. So we're going to go down. We're going to solve for one of these variables and plug into all the equations above. Okay. So I'm going to multiply this by 2. Uh, negative 2? Oh, uh, yeah, because I like addition more than I like subtraction. So we're going to multiply that by negative 2. So I get negative 14x plus 2z equals negative 52. And I still get negative 2x minus 2z equals negative 12. Like we said, I'm going to add these. We're getting close. Negative 2x plus, is that negative 14x is? Negative 16x. Negative 16x, the z's cancel out, equals so what's x equal? Four. <gasps> An integer. Oh, that's so great. Oh. So all I have to do is go back to one of the original equations and plug it back in. Oh, what's the problem with that? We still have two more to find. Still two variables. So where can I plug in this x equals 4? In uh, either the negative 2x minus 2z equals negative 12 or the one below it. Yes. Yeah. Plug it back into one of the equations that we got with the two variables. So if you want variable one. Yeah. So see, which one do you like? I'm liking the one with smaller numbers yeah. and negative two x minus two z. So you like the red? Yeah. Alright, let's go with the red. So we get negative two x, that's gonna be negative eight minus two z equals negative twelve. Negative two z equals equals negative four. negative 4 z equals 2 2 hey two variables now now I can plug one of these back into the original can't I? Mm -hmm. okay. let's use the green one you would plug both of them plug both of them into the green Good. equation po plug, ah, plug both of them back into the green so we get 2 times x, so 2 times 4, plus y, minus z, which is 2, put that in parentheses, equals 5. So I get 8 minus 2, which is? It's negative 8. Okay. It's negative 2x. 
No. 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 Now he's no, this, this, I'm looking to the one to the right. Uh, this is me subtracting. Oh, you were looking at that one? No, the, green, the one no. to the right of the one you guys were doing. No. The, the what? Right. Oh, 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 I see what you're doing, I see what you're doing, sorry, sorry. So, yes, okay, so we're solving for y, so you just, you're plugging it back to the one we already solved That's too for y. Yeah. That's okay. I'm plugging it back into this one, all right? So, e either way still works, all right? Because here we're going to get 8 on the, on the left side, minus 2 is 6, plus y equals 5. Either way, you're going to get that y equals... Negative one. Um, Hold on. One quick thing before I, I address questions. We just have to write the answer. How do you think we're going to write the answer? Order two. Yes, except it's not quite a pair. It's a triplet. Something like that, right? So it goes what comma what comma what? Four. Good. Four comma negative one comma two. X, Y, and Z. I was just confused what you plugged in to get oh Z. Oh my god. Like when you're plugging in the red, the red thing. In the red. The four, like when you plugged in four as X. Like okay, so are you good with how we got X equals four? Yeah. So all we did was we took that X equals four yeah. and we went to one step before where we had those two equations with two variables. Mm -hmm. And we took that X equals four and plugged it into this red equation. Because now, if I plug in the x equals 4, only the z is left. Oh, okay. Then I found the z. And then once I had two variables, mm -hmm. I went back up to the beginning. So again, it's like that ladder, right? Mm -hmm. I'm painting a wall. When I give these three equations, I'm painting a wall. So I have to climb down a couple of steps, right? Or three steps to break okay. it down to one variable. And then I have to climb back up three you know, two, one. Any other questions on this? How do we feel about this? Uh, tired. Excited. Yeah, it's, it sounds like a really you a Take a long, long time. Uh, yes, I will. I'm just not quite yet, though, right? And we got, we got time. We got time, guys. I just don't know how it's going to go and I do it myself. So, I'm not going to lie. The first few times you guys do this, it's going to be confusing. It might take a while, um, but stick with it and keep going. I don't care if you get confused after the second step, the third step. I just I want you guys to try. Really, all you did, all we did that was different was we had that extra variable because once we got where is it to here, once we substituted that third variable in. Like here, how many variables do we see? Two. Two, right? X's and Z's. And then it's just a matter of combining them. So after, like all the way up here, after solving for one, boom, suddenly there's two variables. That's just like this stuff. It's just like we looked at before, two variables. Down in that black box, right down in here, that's where like the, the problem started before. So you guys are absolutely capable of doing this. Don't tell yourselves otherwise. We use substitution here. Could you use elimination? Yeah. Yeah, you could. Um, I didn't want to show that first because substitution tends to be a little bit easier, but you absolutely could. Wait, multiply the first two by five. So close. What you would actually do, to use elimination, notice the green equation and the blue equation sticking with eliminating the z, we would just add them right off the bat. Oh, right. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to take... It's a different problem, right? Okay, cool. So if I do this... Do, 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 do. Da, da, da. So if I add these top two equations, if I combine them, what am I going to get? 5x minus y, minus y equals, 21. equals 21. 
Oh, then you just plug in the third one, too. Then you just, like... Can you rearrange it and plug it? Oh, wait, no, there's still Z left. Then what I would do is I could combine these two. I multiply this by 5, so I get 15 minus 10y plus 5z equals 80. So then I get 15 plus 4x is 19x. Negative 10, negative 7y equals 83. And then we can, again, then we're back to where we started, right? We can use substitution elimination. And then you plug it in. You can use, you can use substitution all the way through, you can use elimination all the way through, you can balance them out. Um, in the book, there are some other examples. This video is going to be up on the YouTube channel. There are videos from last year up there. I'm going to have a step-by-step -step step instruction of a couple of examples. These notes will be up there. And you guys have the added benefit of it being the weekend to look at this stuff. Yeah. Um, but even still, when we get back uh, to class, we're going to be looking at all this stuff. So we will have plenty of time.